What's up, folks? Bringing you a video today. Most of the day I've been inside, it's been pouring non stop. I had three traps left from last night that I had to get painted on my footholds, but these are all my my dog proofs that I got done. Got a row at the bottom and another row right at the top of them. And then these are my newest ones from last year that I got. I only used four of them. So I got all my stuff off the four-wheeler here my little side pieces are up in my box i had to end up taking the whole air breather compartment out to get to the starter the starter went out i had an he took the old the guy i bought it from the old one worked so he had a new one put in it and he saved the old one well that was back in 2016 he did that so I went and got the, I put a new solenoid in it, and that didn't help it, because it was just clicking. So I thought that's what it was. Well, it didn't work, so I was like, I'll do the starter. Started right up. So, I haven't put that back together yet. There's the goofy cat. I'd like to get on my four-wheeler. She's got hair all down in the back of my trapping box of course the four with my four wheelers all dirty i got it dirty already but yeah like i said those are i did the those four right there i just made them gray to match the other ones and then uh here's some that are green that i got put in here that i painted yesterday so that i can make more room over here Got a row there, got a row there, one back there, and one back there. And then uh, these are three that I had left from yesterday, but I had no room to hang them out here. Of course, you can see I got overspray all over the lawnmowers. But I finished these three up today. Of course, I'll have to get the tops of these once they dry. And my quick links, real good. Uh, I got touch-ups to do. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll open these up after they dry for a while. Uh, they're not coming open until they dry for a while, and then when I, I'll, I'll set them and rehang them, and I'll hit the spots that I couldn't get. Because either way, whether they're open or closed, there's spots you can't get. So I'll touch them up then. But that's how, that's how they're looking. I'm getting close to being done. Just got to hurry up and wait now. Let them dry so I can open them up. My, now my number three, I, I opened it up. That's my number three. It'll have to dry a long time because I won't close them up. I usually do them open, and I got in a big hurry because of the rain. I open them up, paint them, and I let them dry for a long time before I close those jaws up. Because I don't want them jaws sticking together. So I let them have a long time to dry. Then I'll close them. I don't snap them off because that will chip the paint right off of them. You got to put your hands on them and open them up and slowly close them. And then uh, touch them up. That's how I usually do them. But I did it totally ass backwards this time, not even thinking, in a big hurry. But I wanted to bring this video to you, and they're going to be gray, orange, and green. I got more green ones than anything, so I'm trying this new orange paint out. 
This year I've never tried it. The green did pretty good last year. And that gray seems to stick pretty pretty nicely. I think the gray ones look the nice of them all. But I like the, the bright colored ones so I can see them from far away. I'm getting ready to drain. If it ever quits raining, I'm going to drain the front differential on this. Flush it out a little bit. Put new gear oil in it. And then I'm going to do the rear differential. I'm going to drain it. Flush it. And put new gear oil in it. I've checked the transmission. There's the transmission right there. It looked like it had good, clean, thick fluid and it's full, so I'm not going to mess with that. That's transmission. There's the crankcase oil. I've already changed it. So, I've got two left. I'm, I'm really not going to mess with that transmission because it, it smells like some kind of gear oil. I don't know if it's some kind of special oil. I can't. It's hard to find anything on this damn bike. But. And I'm going to be greasing my greasers. And on, on both my drive shafts. My front drive shaft and my rear drive shaft. I'm going to make sure those are done. A uh, few more things for this thing to be ready for trapping season. Hopefully I don't get too cocky on this thing and get stuck. Just because I think I got four-wheel drive. Because I may go a few more places I didn't go before. Because my other one was only two-wheel drive. But I never got stuck in it. So... That's the plan on the old trapping four-wheeler. And then uh, get all my plastics put back on. And I still plan on uh, trying to do my trapping, trapping life spray on here. I got a... I don't know if it's going to work or not, though, is the thing. It, it's supposed to be a sticker. And you put it on and you spray it. And it... But, I pr tried putting a regular sticker on there and it wouldn't stick to this. So, just have to see how it goes. If I screw it up, I have to repaint it. I got some extra paint. I can just touch it up a little bit. And just be done with it. But, that's how it's going. Got all DPs done. Totally done. And I'm on my way with the traps. And some of these... Brown steaks have been in here for a while. <clears throat> I've noticed a few of them are starting to rust. I may hit some of those with some paint. I think I got enough to last through the year on here. So I don't have to buy any this year. Those are probably just going to sit there. I never use those or Duke one and a half. So. I'll bring you another video once I get all this done. And show you the finished traps. And uh. If you're not subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Share this with your friends. I'm almost at 800 followers. I'd like to be at more than 800. But. You know. 800 pretty good for me. It's been a while. Since I've had my channel. But. Share this. Leave me a comment if you'd like. And I'll get back with you. Later.